Hi, I'm Salima and in this video I'll be showing you how to create this Islamic geometric pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Open up Illustrator and create a new file. Select pixels from here and put in the width and height that you need over here. I am keeping 600 pixels for the height and width. I'm keeping the color mode to CMYK and the resolution to 300 ppi. Now click on create and the new document will open up. Double click and name the first layer as constructional division. Then select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and create a circle while holding alt and shift. Remove its fill from here and change the stroke color to blue. Check your alignment is set to the artboard. Now align the circle in the center of the artboard horizontally and vertically. Now select the line segment tool and create a straight line while holding shift. Also align this line to the center of the artwork. Then double click this rotate tool and set the angle at 30 degrees. Press this copy button. Now press Ctrl D four times to repeat the same rotate and copy command. This will divide our circle into 12 equal parts. Now lock this layer so you won't mistakenly make any change to this constructional layer. Create another layer by clicking this button here. Double click and rename it as hexagon. Change the stroke color to red. Now go to the view and enable smart guides. Now select the line segment tool again and draw a line from where a line is intersecting circle. Leave the second line and connect it to the next intersecting point on circle. Again repeat this process till you get a hexagon. Press Ctrl A to select all the lines creating this hexagon. Now again double click on the rotate tool. Keeping the angle to 30 degrees, press the copy button. And this will create an other hexagon connecting the alternate intersecting points on circle underneath. Lock this layer as well and create a new layer. Rename it to square. Change the stroke color to orange. Again, select the line segment tool and start your line from this point. This time, leave the two lines and move this point where the third blue line is intersecting the circle. Leave the mouse button once you see the anchor smart guide. Leave another two blue lines and create another line from this point. And leaving another two lines, connect this point here. Now join these two orange lines. And this will create a square. Press Ctrl A to select all the lines. Again, double click the rotate tool, keep the angle at 30 and press the copy button. Press Ctrl D once to repeat the rotate command. Again, lock this layer and create another new layer. Rename it squares to again change the stroke color to yellow. Reselect the line segment tool from the toolbar. Create a line from this point, leaving two blue lines again and joining it to the third line where it intersects the orange square. Again, leave two blue lines to create a parallel line. Start drawing your line from this point, leaving the two blue lines and joining it to the third one. Now connect these two lines.
Press Ctrl A to select all the lines. Double click the rotate tool. Keeping the angle at 30 degrees, press the copy button. Press Ctrl D to repeat the rotate command. Again, press Ctrl A on your keyboard to select all the yellow lines. Go to Object, then Transform and Transform each. Extend the scale value to 300% and click OK. Now lock this layer and create another new layer and rename it as squares 3 press enter change the stroke color to dark blue now reselect the line segment tool from the toolbar and start drawing your line from this point again leave the two blue lines and join it to the third line intersecting the yellow line that we have drawn earlier now create another parallel line and join these two blue lines from here and here press ctrl a and double click the rotate tool keeping the angle to 30 degrees press the copy button now press ctrl d to repeat the same command press ctrl a to select all the blue lines once again go to the object transform transform each and scale your lines to 300 percent and click ok lock this layer and create another new layer Rename this layer Change the stroke color to green Reselect the line segment tool and draw your line from this exact point while holding shift till the point here Increase the line height to 600 pixels Now select this selection tool while pressing all drag this line to duplicate it and place it in this exact position. Selecting both these lines press ctrl G to group these lines and make sure these lines are aligned to the center of the artboard. Double click the rotate tool and keeping the angle to 30 degrees press the copy button. Now press ctrl D four times to repeat the same rotate command now lock this layer and create a new layer you rename it as circles now we need to create a circle between these two lines so select the ellipse tool press shift and draw a circle following the smart guides to make sure circle stays between these two lines Make sure the center of the circle is in exact this position. Now select the selection tool while holding ALT drag this circle and drop it here. Press CTRL A and double click the rotate tool from the toolbar. This time keep the angle to 60 degrees and press the copy button. Press CTRL D to repeat the same rotate command. Now lock this layer and create another new layer. Double click and rename this layer as hexagons too. Press enter. Now select the pen tool by pressing P or by clicking here. Now we need to join these circles by creating a hexagon. Now we are done with all our constructional drawings and ready to drive a pattern from it. So lock this layer and create a one last layer. Rename it as pattern. Now change the stroke color to black and increase the stroke size to 3. You can turn off the visibility of these layers for a bit. Selecting the pen tool draw a pattern from here. Add another point here and then another point here and one here move to this point and click here then click at this point add another point here then move to this point and click here and then add another point here 
then here move to this point and click here now the first pattern is done select the selection tool select this pattern and then right click on it go to the transform and then reflect reflect it vertically and click the copy button now holding shift press the right arrow key to move this pattern in this position now turn on all the layers select the pen tool and create another pattern by adding these points you can zoom in a bit by pressing the alt button on your keyboard and rotating the scroll button on your mouse now that you have this pattern ready press ctrl a to select everything select the rotate tool by pressing all drag this anchor point to the center keeping the angle to 60 degrees press the copy button now press ctrl e four times to repeat the same command so you have your pattern ready now you can hide all the constructional drawings and here is your pattern now zoom in to the center and by selecting the direct selection tool Select these points and press Ctrl J. You need to repeat this process on all these points. Press the minus key and click on these extra points to delete them. Now that our pattern is ready, we can fill in the colors. To fill in the colors, you can create a color palette of your choice like I have done over here. Press Ctrl A to select the entire pattern. Increase the stroke size and change this black color. Now press K on your keyboard to select the live paint bucket tool. Press Alt and the eyedropper tool will appear. While pressing Alt, select the color that you want to fill. Now release the Alt button and fill in the color. Again by pressing Alt select another color. Now release the Alt button and fill in the color. Repeat this process to fill colors in the entire pattern. Your Moroccan Islamic geometric pattern is all ready. Let me know in the comment section how do you find this tutorial if you find the content useful like this video subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of the future videos